So let's use the properties of parallel lines to find all the angle measures of the inside of this triangle. We want to find these three measures right there. All right? So that's what we're looking for. Well, first of all, what are these three? What does that add up to right there? 180. Yeah, so I can add 70 and 50, that would be which would be 120, and subtract that from 180. So what does this middle angle have to be? The middle one? What does that middle angle right there have to be? 120. No, not 120. That's what 50 and 70 add up to. Oh. 50 plus 70. Oh, the middle one? Let's call this x. Plus x has to equal what? 180. 180. Solve that equation. x plus 120 equals 180. Oh, 60. x has to equal 60. So that number is 60 right there. All right, now, we're not done yet because now i got to find out what this angle, let's use a different color, purple, what's that angle right there? 60. And that angle is the alternate interior angle with which one? That one. No, not 60. Here's what you got to look. you got to ignore everything but the two parallel lines and the transversal. See that right there? Ignore yeah. everything but the purple. Oh, okay. What is that line? What is that angle right there have to be? Like right here. No, you're don't don't look at this line. That line. Don't look at anything but just that purple line here. Let's draw, let's take that picture out. Sometimes yeah. it's good to draw it elsewhere. What is that angle the same as? Well, it's the same as that angle, the vertical angle, right? It's the same as the alternate exterior, which is right there, or the corresponding, which is right there. Do we have any of those values? 50. Yeah, we have 50 right there. Do you see how that's the alternate interior? Yeah. So what does this equal? It equals 50. And if that equals 50, can we find this angle, this third angle on the triangle right here? I'll make it pink. Yeah. What's that angle got to be? 70. It's going to be 70, yep, for the same reason, because there's an alternate, alternate interior. Or also you could have thought of adding the same problem you did up here, but put 60 in there this time, and then that would have to be 70. So that's how you do that problem. Now, what is, what is this angle out here going to equal? What's that Which angle? One? Oh, um, 120. Not 120. What? Mm. 110. Because oh. what's 110 plus 70? 180. 180. 180, good. And what's this angle out here got to be? What's that angle have to be? 120. Not 120. What's 120 plus 50? 170. Oh. What does it have to be? What's 180 minus 50? What's 80 minus 50? It's 8 minus 5. Oh, 8 minus 5, right? 3. So it's not 120, it's 130, 30. right? And then you could also find other angles, but they didn't ask us for any more. So that's how you solve a triangle with parallel lines.